let's go mudlarking in the estuaries of Aberporth Bay. Today we're on the West Wales coast in a land renowned for stories of princes and dragons where legends, myths and history mingle to make a wonderful story of Welsh and Celtic history. So I wonder what we'll find today as we search this beautiful location. Well folks we're on the West Wales coast and we're going to go beachcombing around Aberporth Bay. To be honest, we've already been on the beach when we arrived last night, and you'll never guess what we found first. Here we are, our first time on the beach, and look what we found! Some rich pottery! And more! Well, 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 who'd have thought it? There we go. Rich pottery. But I thought, for a moment, I'd found something really intriguing. Welcome. Am I mistaken or is that a shark stuff? I think it is. But I'd better go check with the boss because she knows her stuff. Okay, I've checked with the boss and she says it's a crab's claw. Whatever it is, it's going in my finds. But I bow to Caroline's superior knowledge. She's absolutely right. I was overexcited. It's a crab claw. But 
we're going to go back down there now because we've forecast gales and we want to get out there and see what we can find before those waves get too big for us to handle. So come on, let's see what we've got on this beautiful bay. We've got the best of both worlds here because this estuary we have the river flowing in with nicely prepared stepping stones we have the sea beyond we have the beach we have another bay around the corner but because we found that bit of ridge pottery yesterday that gives us hope for the river so i think we should start our search not beach combing but mudlarking right under that tunnel Ooh, it's exciting come on let's go It looks like there are very deep bits there. And it's quite shallow over there, so we'll see if we can climb around here. Oh, be careful, it's very sinky there. It's slippery, be careful. Right. There we go. Round to the interesting part of the river, and there's the bridge. There's the road, so we may occasionally get a little bit of traffic noise. Ooh, looks a bit precarious. the other side so let's have a look i can already see a few things i don't know how interesting they are but i can see them so let's start with a handle ah, now that's quite a modern one it's got doggy paws and doggy bones on first find of the day a modern handle i'm sure we can beat that well phil yet again has found somebody to talk to so i've come on underneath this bridge phil is very chatty and there are usually people around who are quite interested in what we're doing. So let's see what's under the bridge on the floor. Oh, there's something there already. What do you think? That's a knife. Well, Phil's still chatting, so we'll carry on looking. Lots of stones. Now, these stones are so much different to the stones we see when we're at home. Because it's much more slate. We are more limestone where we are. The shapes are different, the colours are different. A nice little beach though. Very convenient. Right, there's a little piece of china. Do you think that's plain or pattern? It's plain. Oh, there's something big and white in the water there. Now, we haven't really been in, have we, for a paddle? We've just been crossing the water. So, come on, pop your wellies on. In we go, and let's check that out. Oh, this water's rather chilly. Oh, some children are down having fun on the beach, too. Oh, there's a big chunk. Whoa, I wonder what that was off. Quite big, isn't it? Look in, see if we turn up anything else. Now we're in the water, we might as well have a look. Oh, there's a tyre, is it? Hmm, looks like it's a tyre. Ooh, current's quite strong. Oh, now look at that, what a find. It says, Johnson. Is that another bit of handle there? No, it's a bit of round pot. Oh, this is quite a productive little area of river, this. Ooh, there's a big stone. Don't forget, shout if you see something. What's that? Where? Oh, there! Oh, that's another big... Ooh, getting away. That's another big chunk of that white. Ooh, so that's two big chunks, or is it three big chunks we found now? 
We'll keep looking. You can see there they've built a new road and bridge over the old one. Probably find the old one couldn't cope anymore. But it's always interesting when you look at these brick arches or stone arches, depending on what they're made of. And right at the top, you'll always get one that's a little bit of a wedge shape. And that's the keystone of the arch. What have you found? Well, I just went to that little island there. Mm -hmm. At first, I thought there was nothing at all. And then I found that, which seems a little older than most of the... Oh, yes. And there's this little bit of a shape to it. Yes, I wonder what that was. Oh, that's nice. I like the colour on that. Nice, isn't it? Yes, it does give it that bit of age. Right, I had to turn the camera off while I got this because you can see the current is really strong here and I needed to really concentrate on catching this. It was getting away from me. But look at that. That's a nice piece. That's quite old too. Right, we're up at that little island still. Was that one already? I can see something. There's an old piece of ginger beer bottle, you think. And there's a lovely stone. Now, is that an agate or not? I haven't really looked much into agates. I'm going to have to learn more. But that's nice. I'm going to take that and check it out. I say agate, you say agate. I wonder which one it is. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Johnson. What are you doing here? I've made use of this rather large tyre. Yes, it's a large set up one. A little bit of plain or patterned. Ooh. So let's play plain or patterned. Oh, this one first. Um, ooh, it's very white. I'm going for plain. Oh no, <laughs> wrong on the first one. It's got a little bit of pink flower. One to fill. This one. Oh, I. My confidence is gone now. I'm shaking. I don't know if I'm going to get this right. I don't know. I think that's patterned. Yes. It's a t is it? Yes, a tiny bit of pattern there. Oh, it's really small. <laughs> Still, it means it's patterned. Right, let's have a look at this one, which I'm going to say is... Ooh. Patterned. No, it's plain. Another one for Phil. Oh, I'm doing well. Right, this, ooh, it's brown on this side, but the, I can feel, a bit of a cheat, I can feel it's glazing on the other side, which has a texture to it, so I'm going to say patterned. Oh yes, it's got a pattern. Now we didn't cheat at all there, okay? Shh, don't tell anybody, I won't say anything. I might. Shh, <laughs> not to tell. Who am I going to tell? Yes, nobody's listening. Right, so I've got this, which is like ginger beer bottle lot. So we could have something like a maker's name on the other side, but I'm going for plain. Oh, hey, yep. I particularly like that one because see the ridges. Yes. Right, so that's three to me. Two, two, two to, to me. Fill. So it's all down to this little piece here. Now, purely on the fact it's an uneventful piece, I'm tempted to say patterned. Plus it feels a bit like a teacup, so I'm going to say patterned. Oh yes, it is. It's pale blue. It looks like a slice of bread, doesn't it? A loaf of bread. There's definitely pattern. Yes. 
very faded and pale, but it's there. Oh, there we go. I win. Four, Four pieces. Four to two. To two. And commiserations to the loser. <laughs> I'm still smiling. You are. I may have lost, but it's good company. Oh, it's really sweet. <laughs> well, we've come from the bridge over there, and if I use my finger there, there, that is where we're staying. And I thought I'd show you some of the pretty stones along here. Oh, there's something. <laughs> I didn't see that. There's something red there. Oh, it looks like a knife handle. Yes, it's a handle of an old dinner service. What do you reckon? 20s, something like that. Rusted away and some rocks have rusted to the handle. Interesting though, and I like the colour. It's a really rich chestnut brown. It's like a big creepy eyeball. I'm not going to take these back with us because my bag is just going to get too heavy. Oh, I spotted something over here, which at a first glance you could think, oh, is that a shark's tooth? It's not, though. It's a piece of rock. And that I really like. Now, I'm not supposed to be taking rocks, but I'm going to take that one because I like it. This way, Dad. A brick? Uh -huh. We'll come and have a look. You found a brick, have you, Mr. Johnson? Brick. It's a baldy brick that side, but I get the feeling it isn't on the other no, side. It does look very, very plain that side. But I know where that is now because you told me before. A oh, full press. press. London Brick Company, full press. Do you think it's London? Yes. There we go then. Long way from home. It is. <laughs> it's on holidays. We're on the west coast of Wales. We got a London brick. There's me opening with Clan Ashley. <laughs> I went a bit further down and I've seen some more of this. Is this more of that big round piece we found further up? Oh, there's something else there too. Let's have a look at that. Now that's the base of a brown bowl. Are we finding, they're not terribly colourful, but we are finding bits of china that have washed down from somewhere. What have you found? I got two finds. Two finds, ooh. A rather old piece of bone. Oh yes, that is rather old, isn't it? I thought it was a bit of metal pipe, but that's a bone. Right. That's an old bone. And I can't offer you patent. Right. But I can offer you colour. Ooh. So you just flick that one over. Oh, that's nice. It's, it's like a, a sage green. Yeah, I've been turning over all the plain pieces, looking for a bit of colour for you, and that was the nearest I could get to colour. Very nice. I'd say probably 60s, do you think? Something like that? Yeah, 50s, 60s, I would say. Pretty. We have a little bit of something here with a bit of pattern to it. Oh yes, oh that looks like a mixing bowl. Well, not a whole mixing bowl, but a bit of a mixing bowl. Perhaps a chip of a mixing yes. bowl. A mussel shell. The mussel shells here are much bluer than the mussel shells we get back home. Hmm, interesting. Yes, and they keep looking like bits of china. They do, they're so blue. Just you, you'd swear that was a bit of broken china, wouldn't it? Look at that. It's a bit noisy here because this is quite a busy working area from time to time and they're obviously doing something with big machinery. Throw in a bit of wind and a bit of rubble movement possibly. And I doubt if you can hear what I'm saying. That's where the noise is coming from. I can't see anything. I wonder if that's a shredder. I think maybe they're taking trees down and shredding them. But I have to show you this. And what on earth is that? I think it's terracotta before I pick it up. 
Let's have a look. Oh, it's not, it's copper. Ooh, let's give it a wash. Oh, I think that's a light switch or perhaps it hung from the ceiling as a light pull. Oh, that man's getting very noisy over there. Oh, I like that. You know me and my bits of copper. Whatever weird shape they are, I just like them. There's a bridge and there's a river coming down over a little tiny waterfall. It's swirling round and you can see, whoops, the ends are collapsing away. So without wellies, I wouldn't want to get too close to the edge of this. So we'll go and have a look in the little river and waterfall, see if we can find anything. I think it's started raining. So apologies if I get a blob of a raindrop on the screen. I'll try to keep an eye on it. Oh, what have you found? Well, I don't know what it is, but oh, it's, it's very yellow. bright. <laughs> oh, I tell you what I think that is. That's, you know, the double yellow lines they mark the road with? Right, yes. And you can see underneath where it has at one point yes. been stuck to the tarmac and has now come off. I don't know if we'll find anything, but it's definitely worth looking. If nothing else, it's a good excuse. Play about in the water. It's starting to rain. I know, it's getting heavier, I think. There's one or two drops and now turning into quite a lot of drops. Anybody fancy going kayaking? My bridge is posher than you were bridge. It is. Because your bridge had a big concrete bridge on top. Yes, yours is like still genuine. It's yeah. been restored, but it's the original. Yeah. Look up there. Oh, you see those tempting waterfalls. Is something by my feet. Oh, I think that's what it is. Is that a marble? Oh, I think it is. I think it is. Oh, look, a marble. There's a piece of china here. Hmm, thin, so I'm going to get a plane. What are you going to get at? Oh, look. That's nice. It's mineral pattern. It's very strong coloured. Tell you what's interesting. Yeah? All the way up the concrete base, nothing. 20 yards, 30 yards past the concrete, two pieces of blue and white of different ages and colour, and a blue marble. Can't be bad. I think that's a dragon's footprint. We're very near the home of the last dragon in Wales, mm. Newcastle Emlyn. And they, have, they actually have there a statue carved out of wood to commemorate the final dragon right. and its last battle with mankind here in Wales. And we found his footprint. As you climb up over the grassy mounds, castle ruins appear high above the river and the town. These days, they seem so peaceful, but it's endured many fierce battles for its occupation between Welsh lords and the English invaders. In 1403, during Owen Glyndwr's uprising against Henry, Half the town was destroyed as Glyndwr's men seized the castle and it was during that occupation the history and the legend merged together as the 12th century prophecy of Merlin came to pass of a Welsh dragon rising up to protect the land against the invaders. Bindu's golden dragon flag only flew from the castle for two weeks. Then the English returned with a vengeance. And here, a 
Newcastle Emlyn, O England do who was called the son of prophecy, witnessed the rise of a fierce dragon, which is said to have perched on the castle turret. It was a fine summer's day, so it's told, when a young soldier took a true aim, shot straight, and then wounded the dragon. Following the dragon's wounding, he used a red cape to lure the fatally injured beast into the river below, where they say the waters ran green with poison and red with blood. The dragon has never been seen since. We like Indiana Jones. Oh yes. <laughs> I just hope we don't find the tent of doom because I don't like snakes. The cast. Yes. Well, it can't be cast because it's not rusty. It must be aluminium. It's too heavy for aluminium. Yeah, it's a cast alloy. Right. So it's a, possibly a, a lighter. It's not cast iron. A cast alloy. So what possibly, do you think it is? You know, you get uh, it's a connector. It is ah, at the right. end of a pipe to go to another pipe. That's my guess. So it's not a Roman sensor or something that's been damaged or. No. no. <laughs> I'll stretch it to dragon's footprints, but we can't have a Roman sensor for a piece mm. of for a piece of uh, alloy pipe. Yeah, it's no fun in you sometimes. No, well, I'll end up having to take it open for a Roman sensor. <laughs> I can leave it if it's a piece of pipe. True. You can hear the wind picking up and blowing through the trees now. A storm is coming. That's a very unstable cliff, which they've warned us not to climb. Don't worry, I'm not going to climb that. You can see all the cracks and striations in these rocks. There's like a little tunnel through there. The problem is when the tide comes in, the sea washes up here and it's just undermining it even more. So in a few years, I don't think this will even be there to be seen. Some lovely little plants growing. Oh, it's a nice little ecosystem here. Oh, there's Phil. Hello. I have to be careful here because this is catching all the seaweed. It's a very green smell here. Seaweedy, greeny, salty seaside smell. Let's have a look. You could just do the handle. No, I think it's the whole thing. Oh, wow. I would imagine that that's been used by a fisherman at some point. It's certainly not modern. Well, I don't think it's modern. Let's give it a watch. You know, there doesn't seem to be anything written on it. And that seems to be like antler. Do you think an antler handle? Oh, that's really nice. I don't like knives. <laughs> they make me nervous. Being clumsy, I'm always cutting myself. But that's a nice knife. You can't beat what we found. Mmm, oh. look at that. Um, we found that under the bridge. Uh, dangerous weapon, thrown off bridge. Yes, yeah, could be, I didn't think of that. Oops. Get my fingerprints <laughs> off it now. <laughs> I think it's a possibly a fisherman used it though. Probably, it's not yeah. new, that's quite, that's at least vintage and I think it's probably an antique. Especially with the sheep on this and the way the yeah. handle's made. Is it plastic or is it bone? It's bone. I think it's antler. Right. So I don't think somebody would have used that in a crime. Yeah, it's proper riveted, it's not glued. No, so I think that's an old one. What do you think? Very nice. Mm. I think it's nice. You put it in your bag and then you get arrested for having oh, a dangerous thank you. weapon, no, not me. <laughs> no, I mentioned offensive weapon. I yes. get the card here. Thank you, darling. Oh, I don't know him, officer. Mr. Johnson. Hello. Well, we've had a fantastic time here on our first day at Aberporth. Hope you've enjoyed walking along the river and along the sea edge. And not just the finds and the fun, but the fantastic views. We have so missed the sea in the last few months. If you have enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you subscribe, you'll get to know every time we put out a video. But most importantly, this time as every time. Until the next time, have fun. Bye. Bye.